So listen up, you guys. Today I have a, a short video for you guys. And this video caught my attention today as I was watching it. So yes, I'm gonna be honest, I did watch the video already. But this video, it, it, it was reaction worthy. So I was like, let me just bring it to these guys and show them or give them a little game on how I feel about this topic. So let me just play the video so y'all can hear it for yourselves. My number one thing, somebody asked, do you guys know why you're single? And I'll speak for myself. I know exactly why I'm single because I've never dated a guy <laughs> that I got would have approved for me. Not to say, let me clarify and say that I've actually only dated great men, good people to their core, but never somebody who's further along in their faith than I am. Yeah. And I, and let me pause it right there, right? Let me pause it right there. And one of the comments stuck out with me. One of the comments really stood out to me. Uh, someone tells me that nobody's going to be. Yes, it was this one. It was this one. And it says something tells me that nobody is going to be far along in their faith enough to satisfy this woman. And this brought me back to an experience I had with a particular woman where I was considered and I made a video on this a while back where I was dealing with a particular somebody and I was new on my faith with Christ, right? I was new on my faith with Christ. So I was uh, I was a baby Christian, basically. And she had more, you know, years or knowledge or spiritual knowledge more than I did. So when I seen this comment and hearing what the lady just said in the video, it just brought back memories because I feel like certain women, they it's kind of like being on social media, right? When you compare your lifestyle to someone who has over a million followers on IG and you're someone who probably works at Walmart, you're doing graveyard ships shifts at Amazon or something, right? And you're comparing your life to a uh, 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 influencer, for lack of a better word, right? It's, it's just not going to, it's not going to add up. You're, n you're never going to be satisfied. You're probably going to be sad after you just clicked off the app, right? But that's another topic for another day. But the point I was trying to get at is this guy says, Something tells me that nobody's going to be far along in their faith enough to satisfy this woman. And I say that to to prove my point, because a lot of women might look at these elder guys who are who've been Christian for mainly all their life. And they're much mature now. You know what I'm saying? And then you got younger guys coming to Christ each and every day. Praise God. But you got younger guys coming to Christ who are just beginning on their journey. Right. And then you have women who are trying to be led. Right. And instead of, you know, I understand that it's a man's job to lead a woman, but I feel like a lot of women, their expectations of, oh, this man, he, he don't know each and every single scripture from from the back of his hand, like the back of his hand. Right. I feel like a lot of women put that pressure on on men. You get what I'm saying? And it's, it's, it's very unrealistic. It's a very unrealistic expectation that a lot of these women, you know, even in the Christian community, they want you to know, you know, they want you to know the Bible front and back. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but we got to be careful. You know, this is for the women out there. Y'all got to be careful not to be so so harsh or judgy especially when a man for example doesn't know you know this particular scripture or he doesn't know what this scripture means you know because there's always room for growth but i i just wanted to point that out because, you know what it is pause it. i just wanted to point that out real quick because this this is so true like and I guarantee you, I guarantee you, if you do find a man, you know, she is it's always going to be something that 
it just doesn't hit for her. It just doesn't do it for her, you know? So that's why this comment stuck out to me the most. You know, even in the Christian community, there can still be a lot of unrealistic expectations. You know, when you both got, when you two are both growing in Christ. My number one thing. Somebody asked, do you guys know why you're single? And I'll speak for myself. I know exactly why I'm single because I've never dated a guy <laughs> that God would have approved for me. Not to say, let me clarify and say that I've actually only dated great men, good people to their core, but never somebody who's further along in their faith than I am. Yeah. And I know without a shadow of a doubt that the person God has for me is like so far along in their faith. And what I was just explaining in the beginning of the video, that was the con. That's just something I wanted to get off my chest. But overall, she is not wrong. She's not wrong for wanting a man that's way further down in his journey or more spiritually experienced in his journey. Right. So he can be able to teach her. And I feel like that's very important in a Christian relationship faith than I am and I have such a desire like a true a yearning to be led spiritually I just want to sit and look up at a man talking to me about theology and I'll be so happy you know what I mean and so I there's always been unfortunately not in like an insulting way but there's like a there's a level of respect that I'll have for the person that I'm with when that's the case and I've never experienced that you know you know, <laughs> I was thinking like she the type that's going to be like, oh, he doesn't know. <laughs> She's going to be like, oh, he doesn't know. He doesn't know who the 12 disciples are. <laughs> I can't date him. <laughs> but at the same time, you <laughs> if you're watching this video, who were the 12 disciples? Answer, answer that down below. Some of y'all are going to cheat, but. She she's that type. She's gonna be like, if he don't know the twelve disciples, then yeah, I'm I'm not dating him. He's not experienced enough. <laughs> that just crossed my mind. But she's not she's not wrong for thinking like this, man. You know what I'm saying? She's not wrong at all. And I feel like it's it's our duty. It's our duty as men. It's our job to be reading our word and spiritually ed edifying ourselves each and every day you know for our wife because it says in the bible that the the woman should ask the husband about or ask the husband any questions they have you know once they're alone together it's the it's the woman who goes to the man and asks the questions right so she's not wrong for asking this because it would kind of be going against biblical roles in a marriage if the woman is the one teaching the man when it's the man that should be teaching the woman so with her saying that it's nothing wrong with that at all i actually agree with that 100 percent. but the only kind i'll take away is that what what is considered enough Right. If, if you're a woman with such standards, what is considered enough for a man to to date you? You know, what I'm saying like none of us are perfect. None of us are perfect unless you go find a, a Bible scholar who actually studied theology for a living. You know, what I'm saying like he might know the Bible front to back, front, middle and back and can actually dissect 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 but come on like you you got to be able to give certain people a chance at the same time because who knows she might have been blocking her blessings and that's why she's single she's not willing to give you know the proper guy a chance because oh he don't know the 12 disciples <laughs> like come on man like make that make sense but what is enough for a man what what is considered enough for her as far as knowing theology or knowing or being further along in their journey what is considered enough for her to be like okay you know what I, i'll actually i'll actually be feminine and make him lead me right what is considered enough man 
And that's just my only concern. You know, that's just that's just my only concern because it kind of gives like a picky vibe like, oh, he don't know the Bible like that. So this must not be who God has for me. You know, it, it's kind of like it's kind of iffy for me. It's kind of iffy. But I hope you guys kind of understood what I was trying to put down. Let me know if you guys agree with what I'm saying. I was kind of all over the place a little bit, but let me know you guys' thoughts. Was she on the money? Like, do you guys agree with what she was saying? And I'm not disagreeing with what she said, but it's also like a, you got to be willing to appreciate someone's growth. You know, what someone might not have known yesterday, they might know tomorrow. So you can't be so picky and, you know, standoffish because someone doesn't know the Bible front to back or he's not all the way spiritually mature because we're all grown. We're we're all on the road to sanctification because none of us are perfect. So let me know what you guys think of this one. Make sure to leave a like smash that like button, y'all smash it. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions. Share this video with a friend because they most definitely will need it. Subscribe if this is your first time seeing my face and my content. I'll catch you in the next one. And I'm out.